an active volcano up close. Now, I think the show's over. Yeah, that's enough playing with fire for one day. I think the volcano is telling us we've overstayed our welcome. Agreed. Let's go. I'll see you at the bottom, Rami. Good thing I know the fastest way down. Don't look back! Trying my best! Volcano. Now let's see how you handle some real Baja racing, my friend. Vamos! I know an old Baja circuit that would be perfect. I didn't plan on us entering a race already, but here goes nothing. And we're into the final lap. Oh, but what's this? Our new competitors come into the arena! Ah, this is awesome! Vamos! <laughs> the crowd goes wild! Legendary Baja Racing, my friend! <laughs> ah, we've never seen anything like this! And they go! 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 Across the finish line! Mexican automotive history with Ramiro is about the Baja 1000. You are very perceptive, my friend. This Dune buggy was the first car to race here. Let's take it for a spin. The Baja 1000 is probably the most prestigious race held in Mexico. Do you know how it all started? I assume the Myers Manx has something to do with it? Correct again! The Baja 1000 started as a very elaborate marketing campaign for the car you're driving. But let me start from the beginning. On the 22nd of March, 1962, Dave Eakins and Billy Robertson did the first real Baja run. They went from Tijuana to La Paz in 39 hours, 56 minutes, on new Honda CL72 Scrambler motorcycles. So they probably were a bit sore afterwards. They got a lot of media coverage though. A year later, Meyer started to work on a prototype buggy he called Old Red in his garage in Newport Beach. It was based on the VW Beetle and it paved the way for what we know as buggies. Cars that are built for off-roading using the Beetle as a donor chassis. But I guess they wanted even more publicity because in April 1967, Myers decided to make an attempt at breaking Eakin's record. And it worked! Myers did it in 34 hours and 45 minutes, beating Eakin's for more than five hours. The rivalry was known as Buggy Beats Bike in Baja. Sounds like something you did back in the UK, doesn't it? Manx became an overnight sensation as a result, and suddenly they were friendly races all across the Baja. It wasn't long before they realized they needed something more organized. And that was Mexican 1000. Guess who won the inaugural event? Myers Manx? You're on fire today! Yes, in 27 hours and 38 minutes. The official race was 100 miles shorter than the original route, but it's still impressive. The Mexican 1000 
was later renamed to the Baja 1000 and is run to this day. do the full route, but at this rate you would have had a shot at the original record. I love that story. My abuela used to tell it to me at least once a year. Horizon Bravo Niner! This is Horizon Bravo Niner! Do you read me? Look to the sky! Follow me and keep up! Romero! Is that you? Who else? I know just the spot to expand the festival, but the path takes us through the deepest part of the jungle. Do you trust me? Of course! Wait, why would I not? Then follow the road! I will guide you from the air! And pray the weather holds! Is it just me, or does that sky look glorious? Welcome to Teotihuacan! We are slightly too late for this festival, I'm afraid. The name means Place of the Roads of the Gods. Rami, are you sure we should be heading into this storm? A bit of rain is nothing to fear, my friend. The Maya know that too well. It is said that Jack straights lining at the clouds and rain will fall. And you're doing okay up there? Don't worry, I am still in complete control! Actually, I am not in complete control! You know what? Let's not fly directly into that storm! Alright, so Bravo Niner, I'm putting down in the jungle! Phew! Safe touchdown! Ramiro, are you okay? Never better! Any landing you walk away from is a good one. I'm down next to some kind of flooded uh, temple. I'll send up a flare. No one's been here in a while. Look, even the excavations are abandoned. An expedition to a lost city, rediscovered by you, Ramiro Ruiz Miron, and the Horizon Festival. Hey, Rami, I think I'm gonna take a look around. Find somewhere to put the beacon. Do not let me interrupt your Mesoamerican history lesson, my friend. You can come and get me when you're ready. I think I can line up for a jump through these arches and over the top of the ruin. Did I just see a flying car? Yeah, flying cars? I think I just saw a barn out there. We'll check it out later. There's the plane and our exit. There you are. Right. Let's push.
push on to the coast. The storms can be bad, but the ancient peoples of this region knew the value of the rain. here by the next archaeological expedition, do you, my friend? This place is definitely nicer without us in it. Let's get moving. Some of the roads might be blocked. I'll navigate. It looks like there's one way to the coast, through the heart of the storm. You can handle this, my friend. I trust you. Do your worst. We are riders on the storm. Riders on the storm! We fear nothing! Roadworks! You have to cut through the swamp. Take a right. I hope you like mud, my friend. Couldn't like it more. Let's do this. Hold on. the corner. Welcome to beautiful Tulum. We made it. No thanks to the weather. You're right. But now these beaches look beautiful. You know... I think this will be the perfect spot. I think you're right, my friend. You made it! No thanks to Ramiro, no? Welcome to Horizon Apex. Ready for my road racing program? Turn left. meters. Turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. 